next 10 minutes, you're going to learn how to create an Eisenhower matrix, which is the proven system that top CEOs and military leaders use to instantly cut through the chaos and know what to work on. We'll compare how easy to create the Eisenhower matrix in Monday.com, Notion, ClickUp, and Smartsheet, and the results may surprise you. But wait, I'm giving away over $1,000 in prizes. Here's what you can win. For the thousand viewer of this video, they are going to win four free hours of consulting on the tool of their choice provided by me. The 500th viewer will win a $50 Dunkin' gift card, and the 250th viewer will win a Dunkin' Donuts gift card. Make sure you check out below in the comment section the exact rules to qualify, but let's go ahead and get started. This is the Eisenhower Matrix, your secret weapon to productivity. It helps you separate what actually matters from the noise. Let's break it down. There are four quadrants that you will group your tasks and activities into. Do first, which is grouped by urgent and important. Schedule it, which is not urgent but important. Delegate it, which is urgent but not important. And delete it, which is not urgent and not important. Now that you know how it works, let's see which tool makes it easiest to set up. The first tool we're gonna to compare today is monday.com. And so in monday.com, if you Google Eisenhower matrix, you will be taken to this page where they give you a high level overview of how to create it. Uh, one thing to note though, is they have just a simple table uh, where they have importance, urgency, action, and status there. Uh, they say that you can click this button to get this template now, and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, but you actually do have to build it and customize yourself. It's not a true template, but let's go ahead and get started. And so I've already logged into my monday.com account, and you can see here I already built the Eisenhower matrix, but I'm gonna start brand new, fresh for everyone so they can follow uh, along. So we're gonna create a new board. And I'm gonna have it be for task, and I'll call it uh, Eisenhower Matrix 2, just so we know the difference. We're gonna hit create board. So here's the default board that is created. And so what we're gonna do is actually a copy over the status column because we do like how that's configured. And we're gonna click on duplicate column. We're gonna do column only for right now. And we're gonna change this one to urgency. We're gonna do that same thing, duplicate column, column only, we'll do that again. And this is gonna be for importance. Within the urgency, we're gonna click on it and we're gonna edit these labels right here. So we only need two, which is urgent and not urgent. And so I'm gonna make the red as urgent and working on it, I'm gonna switch that to not urgent. And I'm actually gonna delete the done one. You have to have a default label, so we're gonna leave that and hit apply. There you go, so that's confirming the selection you set up. And we're gonna do the same thing on the importance one. So I've clicked on importance, I've now uh, clicked edit the tabs, and I'm gonna select here, once again, not important, and important actually why don't we do important as red and we'll get rid of the green again hit apply and there we go so what you can see now is if our item number one here was not urgent and important we'll be able to do that uh, same thing with uh, item number two let's finish that off there we go and we'll do the last one, for example, is both not urgent. Now, something that's interesting to note in monday.com is now it doesn't have the ability to actually do this in a two by two matrix, uh, but you are able to see the summary down here or the board. You are able to group it differently. So if we want to group it by urgency um, or importance, uh, we can do that by the group by column. But this is pretty much natively all the functionality out of Eisen, um, out of Monday.com for the Eisenhower matrix, uh, without going into you know too many configurations and automations. So that is Monday.com. Now let's go over to Notion, and here is the Notion 
Eisenhower matrix that I've pulled up and I'm going to show you how I did that. Uh, we're going to, on the left hand side, click on templates and we're going to just search for Eisenhower. Now, one thing I've noticed about Notion is they actually have 97 different templates. So uh, that is quite amazing how many templates they have here. And these are provided by the users in their community. So we can select any one of those. I'm gonna just select on the first one, the top left here. And so this is uh, an overview of it. I'm gonna hit add again because that was the one that I liked. And now the template has been added. So I'm gonna click on it on the left-hand side. Now, something that's really cool about Notion that I uh, noticed on this is it does give you the four quadrants, right? So this is ideally how a matrix is set up for the Eisenhower. So you have urgent and important, urgent and not important, not urgent and not important. And what's amazing about this with the samples that they have here is you can actually move these tasks around between the quadrants and it will update them not only in the quadrants down here, but they also have the same content that is in these four quadrants below in this task table. And so you could also select uh, items as urgent or not urgent and or important, and it will automatically move them and shift them in this table. So this is a lot cooler functionality that I saw than with monday.com. Uh, same thing, you could set the overall status and deadline, have any notes, um, and here is Ali who made this template and his information. But a uh, great example, like I said, there are 97 other templates in here um, that you can go through and pick through and see which one you guys like. So that is Notion, very easy to set up. Next up, uh, we're gonna take a look at is ClickUp. And with ClickUp, you can actually uh, just Google Click up and Eisenhower Matrix. It's going to take you to their uh, white page blog that lists out what are the best practices, what they've defined as Eisenhower Matrix, what are the four quadrants, how to set it up. Um, and so this is a great how to guide for those of you that are new to the Eisenhower Matrix to give that a read. But we're going to go into Click up right now, and you can see this is the template that I've selected. I'm going to show you how to create a new template again. So I'm gonna go on our left side over here under our YouTube folder, and I'm gonna select from template. And same concept here, I wanna make sure that we have all of our template types selected. And we wanna click on the ClickUp templates. And we're gonna type in Eisenhower. And here is the Eisenhower template that we can use. So we're gonna do quick use. And so once again, it's actually pretty cool. For those of you that are familiar with uh, Miro and, and other tools that have whiteboarding concept, something that's really nice about ClickUp is they have this full whiteboard concept that you could just move around. Uh, you can add additional post-its. So I will say hello world to this. Um, and you can literally just move in and drop it around. So very cool. Now here's where it gets really interesting. You can actually convert these stickies, these notes that you've done into tasks. And so unlike Notion where it had the whiteboard above and the task list below, ClickUp is a little bit different that you have to uh, right click and then hit task here. And it's gonna ask you, where do you wanna send it to? So I'm gonna send it to our ClickUp folder and we're gonna hit convert to task. And so we can see now it just took that item and made it a task. Oops and uh, it's in the idea phase as an example right now. And so when I clicked on it, it actually opens it up right here in the project. And here's all the information for that task. So it does live within your respective project or folder. Um, you can continue to move it around uh, here on the dashboard, but when you do that, it doesn't necessarily update uh, if it's important or not important. So. Uh, that being said, I think ClickUp has a lot of amazing functionality. Same thing with AI uh, that is directly embedded in here. Uh, so you can ask it any type of AI related questions. Um, you can even ask it, uh, what I've noticed now is, uh, what do I need to focus on? And it will tell you what um, the priority should be. So that is ClickUp. And now the final one that we're gonna take a look at is the Smartsheet tool. 
And so Smartsheet, same thing if you Google Smartsheet and Eisenhower Matrix, it will take you to this website where they have uh, great examples of layouts of the quadrants once again. What's interesting to note though is in here, they actually don't have a link to a template within Smartsheet, uh, but rather they are providing links of how to set this up in PowerPoint or Google Slides or Word or Google Docs or, or all the other tools besides Smartsheets, uh, which I thought was interesting. But let me show you how to do it in Smartsheet as an example. And so this is the final deliverable that I, that I worked on a little bit earlier, uh, but I'm gonna show you how I created this. And so we're gonna start off by just uh, creating a new sheet. I'm gonna do a, a grid. And when we do that, here's the default of what is being created. And so I am going to now uh, delete a couple of columns that we don't need. Maybe we want to keep end date, we'll get rid of start date, and maybe we want to keep status, and the assigned two columns, great. So we're gonna rename this one and call this task name. And now we need to add in the other columns, which is gonna be the urgency, and that's gonna be a drop-down list, and we're gonna say it's not urgent or urgent, and that it can only be one value. And the next one is gonna be importance. So we're gonna type that in here. We're gonna select drop down list. We're gonna hit important or not important and restrict that value to one cell. Uh, now we have the ability to do that, but once again, it's not really doing it and I'll just change this to task one and you can put it to any assignee. But um, what you'll notice is that there's no color coordination, conditional formatting. So I'm gonna turn that on right over here, conditional formatting. We're gonna create a, a new rule and we're gonna set the condition that if urgency is urgent, right? And uh, we're gonna set that as urgent like we just did, okay? And we wanna say, and importance is also important, then we wanna apply this format color. So we're gonna make that one, for example. Uh, I'll do red. Make sure that the text we can actually read with it being white. Okay, and we're gonna hit okay. And so if we flip this now to urgent and important, there you go, it lights up red for you. And so we're gonna do that same concept with the other conditions. So we're gonna say not urgent, then we're gonna select once again and set another condition, which is importance is we're still gonna do important and we're gonna make that one, for example, orange. And we'll keep going here and do it for not urgent. Got to add that condition again. I totally forgot, right? And we're going to say not important. So we have urgency is urgent and it's important. Urgency is not urgent and it is uh, important. And now we have urgency is not urgent uh, and not important. And so we're going to make that yellowish color. Great. And then the last one is not urgent and not important, which we just did here. Okay, so the last rule we're gonna do is urgency is still urgent, importance is urgency is urgent, and we're gonna make an and statement there, and importance is not important. So that should cover everything off now, and I'll make this one green as an example, and we'll hit okay. So if we save that now, if we put in the other ones in here, uh, we should see the conditional fit or manning automatically turn on. Um, and so that's it, how you do it in Smartsheet. But once again, Smartsheet is similar to Monday. It doesn't have any of the quadrants uh, that's, uh, that Notion or ClickUp have. Uh, so just keep that in mind. All right. After testing all four tools, here's my ranking. First, I'm gonna give it to ClickUp. I just think their AI tool and their ability to do the matrix was so easy, so customizable, very fast setup. 
That being said, Notion, I will put it as a fast follow on. Definitely second, I would even maybe tie first because it's so great. Two tools I was a little dis disappointed in was Smartsheet and Monday.com. Both of them extremely powerful tools, but for whatever reason, I think both of them had a limitation with the Eisenhower matrix. Well, that concludes our video on the Eisenhower matrix and reviewing across the four tools. Thanks for joining.